electrical panel comprising a three-phase incomer and a few single-phase outgoing circuits. Power monitoring is performed using a Dyrus DigiWare system made of a D70 display with embedded web server, a U30 voltage module, make sure the U30 module is connected to Earth for the autocorrect technology to work properly, and I35 current modules. A disconnected CT alarm is currently active on the I35 module as the current sensors aren't connected yet. Let's connect three ITR10 split core current sensors which can measure currents up to 75 amps. The ITR current sensors offer a unique feature. They detect the presence of voltage in the conductor passing through. The autocorrect technology is based on this voltage detection feature. As you may have noticed, we purposefully just simulated an error while connecting the current sensors, an inversion between phase 1 and 2. By the way, we can see that the alarm LED of the I35 current module is flashing, which shows that the system alarm is currently active. The alarm is also shown on the D70 display, whose LED started flashing. Let's go to the event menu to get more information about this alarm. It's shown it's a bad voltage current association, which suggests a wiring error. Now let's have a look at the real-time measurements. Active powers P1 and P2 are negative. Inconsistent readings are the direct consequence of a cabling error. By connecting to WebViewM, the web server embedded in the D70 display, the Fresnel diagram shows that some phase voltage and current are out of phase. V1 is in phase with I2, while V2 is in phase with I1. We're going to show you how to use the autocorrect technology from the display to overcome these cabling errors. Let's go to the Parameters menu, then Configure a device. And select the right device, which is the i35 current module at Modbus address 3. The autocorrect menu displays a diagnostic table allowing to identify potential cabling errors and understand where they come from. This example shows that active power P1 would be correctly computed by associating the current from the ITR sensor connected to I02 with the voltage V1 from the U module. But this is not the case as the I02 cell is grayed out. Active power P2 would be correctly computed by associating the current from the ITR sensor connected to I01 with the voltage V2 from the U module. But this is not the case as the I01 cell is grayed out. There is no error for active power P3. It is correctly computed by associating the current from the ITR sensor connected to I03 with the voltage V3 from the U module. Let's note that there can be other types of cabling errors. A current sensor oriented backwards, for instance, and this would also be brought out by the autocorrect menu. Let's click on autocorrect. This automatically removes cabling errors from the table. Indeed, the current voltage association has been corrected by software without physically changing the cabling of the measurement system. We can also notice that the alarm LED is no longer flashing on the D70 display and the I35 module. Let's go back to the measures menu. Power readings are now consistent. In the WebView M web server, we can notice that all three phase currents and voltages are now in phase. This video showed how the autocorrect technology, integrated to the range of ITR current sensors, allows to detect wiring errors, and how to perform a software correction in order to guarantee correct and reliable measurements.